Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is night prayer for Monday, July the 23rd, and today we celebrate the Feast of Mary Magdalene. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 149, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 7, and a canticle from Tobit, chapter 13, verse 1 through 4. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise God. Sing to God a new song. Alleluia. Psalm 149. Praise God. Sing to God a new song. And sing God's praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in God that made him, and let the children of Zion be joyful in their sovereign. Let them praise God's name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto God with the timbrel and the harp, for the Most High takes pleasure in his people. God will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, praise God, sing to God a new song. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in our affliction so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are suffering. Our hope is for you, our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia. Blessed be God who lives forever, because God's kingdom lasts throughout all ages. Alleluia. Tobit's thanksgiving. Blessed be God who lives forever, because God's kingdom lasts throughout all ages. For God afflicts and God shows mercy. 
God leads down to Hades in the lowest regions of the earth, and God brings up from the great abyss, and there is nothing that can escape God's hands. Acknowledge God before the nations, O children of Israel, for God has scattered you among them. God has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt God in the presence of every living being, because he is our Lord, he is our God, he is our Father, and he is God forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed be God who lives forever, because God's kingdom lasts throughout all ages. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.